Ned Pillersdorf, the attorney representing the displaced Eric C. Kong clients, has notched several wins over the last nine years, but this recent may be his best. It's been nearly a decade since Eric C. Kahn's former clients lost their benefits in the wake of Kahn's conviction for orchestrating the largest Social Security fraud case in United States history. Prestonsburg attorney Ned Pillersdorf, who has represented those clients, has had to hear them called co-conspirators in Kahn's scheme all the while. There's been zero evidence any of the Kahn clients were involved in any of the wrongdoing. Kahn's crime is not complicated. His office was in Stanville, the judge was in Huntington, they met at the Castle gas station in Louisa, and for seven years, Khan gave him 9,000 cash. No Khan client had any idea any of this was going on. Khan never said, hey, you're going to win your case, I'm driving up to Louisa today to bribe the judge. That never happened. It is the season of saving and upgrading at Appalachian Wireless, so how about an iPhone 13 for a penny on the mix and match or unlimited plan? The season of saving and upgrading. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. In fact, there's even high-ranking officials now saying as much, such as Social Security Administration Commissioner Martin O'Malley. O'Malley recently wrote a letter to Senator McConnell and for the first time in nine and a half years, someone in a position of authority have said the Khan clients were innocent. The word O'Malley used, they were unwittingly drawn into Khan scheming, which is a rapid departure from nine and a half years ago when Oklahoma Senator Tom Colburn said all of the Khan clients were in on the scam, which is just an outrageous misrepresentation of the truth. The roughly 500 clients most at risk who Pillersdorf refers to as the Forgotten 500, need only fill out a form and submit it in order to have their benefits reinstated, as well as a substantial amount of back pay in many cases. But there's a problem. The challenge in representing the almost 4,000 former con clients, we don't know who they are, and the Social Security Administration won't tell us their identity. The reason we have the client meeting uh, was to get the word out that there's been some substantive good news. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Sheldon Compton.